What's going on YouTube? GSNO right here. Today is a weird day, so bear with me. I have created my very first jailbreak from scratch, even though it's for older versions, but this one is my very first jailbreak that has Cydia and tweaks and drop beer and so on, and I have created this one and it's completely open source available over here. Now Blizzard jailbreak has been a concept of mine for a couple of years now, and I've started multiple jailbreaks in the past, one for iOS 11, one for iOS 12, back on iOS 11 and iOS 12 days, and yeah, you can find those of course on my github account but those were jailbreaks that only had drop beer and the base binary so that you can do iOS security research on them they weren't exactly meant to be jailbreaks for the general public but blizzard is different this one is a complete jailbreak with CDM and of course with tweaks running on the device yes this jailbreak works on iOS 9.0 all the way up to 9.3.632 bit and there's a reason for this the reason is that this channel you're currently watching I have started it on iOS 9 back on the iOS 9.0 to 9. 3.5 era. So this iOS version range holds a very important place for me because it's where I started the channel and I really wanted back then to be able to create my own jailbreak and yeah, years later, I did. And yeah, this jailbreak may not be very useful nowadays. It may not be for everybody because who is on iOS 9 anyways? But it's my very first jailbreak that I successfully completed with Cydia and all that jazz. So let me demonstrate a little bit how it works. If you have a device and you want to get it, it's available here on the releases tab. You go to a version here, usually the latest, and get the IPA file. Yes, IPA file is available. You can get it, no problem. And as I said in here, everything works, including drop beer compared to many other jailbreaks for iOS 9, this one has drop beer included. You don't have to install OpenSSH or anything like that. So once you have the IPA file, you can use something like Sideloadly in order to drag and drop it to the device. And yeah, that's Blizzard jailbreak logo over there. Press start and that's it. And once you're logged in, as you can see, it's signing no problem. And it will be available on the device in a couple of seconds. So it's a normal jailbreak, same iron tether jailbreak that you can use like Uncover, like Phoenix, like many other jailbreaks. But this one is mine and it's complete. So right now it's on the device. Let's move on there to see what's going on. All right, so this is my uh, device over here. As you can see, I'm already jailbroken, but the jailbreak is not active. It keeps on crashing because it's not loaded. So first, because we reinstalled the application, I'm gonna go here to general, the settings and uh, trust my account. And as you can see in here, we trust the Blizzard jailbreak and that's it. And now we can open the jailbreak application and it's this one over here. Nothing easier than this. We press jailbreak button and that's it. So yeah, let's jailbreak for the first time on video with my own complete jailbreak. Once you press it, it does all the patches and you know, it, it applies everything, remand through the fest, you press down over here. And once complete, it will actually respring your device. All right, so as you can see, it says jailbroken over there. It's now respringing, which will take a couple of uh, seconds. All right, so we're gonna slide to unlock over here and that's it, we are now jailbroken. I'm gonna open Cydia and as you can see, Cydia now starts. And yes, I modified a little bit the bootstrap so that it doesn't have dead repos anymore. like mod my and many other dead repos and so on it only has modern repos and we have two essential upgrades I'm gonna complete them and yeah confirm over here that happens when you install a jailbreak for the first time there might be binaries that need to be updated and as you can see everything seems to work fine so yes my very first jailbreak that is complete and can be used by the general public with no problem is not only a developer jailbreak and yeah I'm pretty proud of it even if it's not for iOS 15 or 16 those versions really don't matter too much for me because I'm not nostalgic for those versions I'm nostalgic for iOS 9 because that's when I started my channel. All right, so that's basically it. And now we have Falza as well running because it was installed before when I jailbroke with my uh, with my jailbreak. And as you can see, the Blizzard files over there. Being on iOS 9, it has a full remount and stuff like that. So yes, a fully working jailbreak with Blizzard. So if you want it, you can find it. It's completely open source if you want to check out the code. I'm sure some of you will be interested in jailbreak research and jailbreak development and you would want to create a jailbreak of your own. So definitely feel free to use the code over here definitely feel free to explore everything the main code for the jailbreak is in blizzard jailbreak file over here and this is all the logic that i wrote in order to basically jailbreak the device using the phoenix exploit and multiple other components so yeah, thank you for watching i'm gsnow till the next time peace out